another day, another security vulnerability. In this quick video, I'll show you how to find out if you're safe from the regression issue or CVE 2024-6387 affecting OpenSSH, which is pretty much how you connect to your Linux server, be it a Raspberry Pi, a VPS hosted with someone else or anything like that. Everyone is vulnerable. And even if you have good fail to ban rules set up, people can still get around it and possibly in the future gain access to your server. On 32-bit systems within a couple of hours, you could possibly gain root access and 64-bit systems, it's probably going to take you around a week or so. It hasn't been proven just yet, but it is possible with 32-bit systems. And it's a very good idea to make sure that your system is patched and protected against this vulnerability. So how exactly do you know if you're affected by this? Well, if we have a look here at Vulkan, which has a bit of information on regression, you are vulnerable if you have OpenSSH below version 4.4 P1 or between 8.5 P1 and 9.8 P1. 9.8 P1 was released on the 1st of July 2024 in order to patch this vulnerability. So it's a fresh update from just yesterday. And of course, everything to even Arch Linux are reacting to this, pushing updates that get you to update to this. And you will need to restart SSH right after updating. Okay, so enough speaking now you know which versions are vulnerable how do we check to see if you're up to date or at least protected against regression well there's two ways to do this the first way is obviously the best and that's updating open ssh there's a few different ways to do this depending on your system in this one i'll be showing you debian or ubuntu all right so over here i've pulled up my ssh terminal and i've connected to my server all we need to do to find out if you're vulnerable is check the version of open ssh for this type in ssh space hyphen capital v and you'll see the open SSH version listed out over here. I'm currently running 8.9 P1, so logic says that I should be vulnerable. If your system is running apt for updates and things like that, you can use apt policy followed by open SSH hyphen server. By running this command, you'll see the installed version at the very top telling you what you currently have set up. You can also check the client version with apt policy open SSH hyphen client, and you'll see over here that I'm running 8.9 P1 for both of these. I've already updated my system, so I should be safe but this number is vulnerable. How is this? Well, last night before I updated, I was running OpenSSH 8.9 P1, Ubuntu 3, Ubuntu 0.7. This was a vulnerable version. What Ubuntu have done is they've issued patches for all the different versions available on your system. So if you're running Ubuntu on your server, you can simply check the version by running apt policy OpenSSH hyphen server and using this response over here, check this table over here. You'll find it linked down below. If you're running Ubuntu 2204, you should be running OpenSSH server 1.8.9 P1, which is a vulnerable version. But right next to it, it says 3 Ubuntu 0.10. This is the patch that they've pushed in order to fix this. And I'm running 3 Ubuntu 0.10, which means I am safe. If we click it, you'll find some more information about it. And this one was pushed on the 1st of July. So this is a brand new fresh update. The same goes for Ubuntu 23.10 and 24.04. For everyone else, you should be able to just run the update command as you would usually. And pretty much no matter what distro you're on, as it's a huge vulnerability issue, there probably is going to be a patch that is pushed out for you. But assuming you're running some kind of obscure older system that doesn't get updates regularly, then you may need to compile and update OpenSSH yourself. Or the second option is to try and work around the issue that's getting exploited. Obviously, updating is infinitely more safe. But if you want to try and work around it, essentially how this works is that when you're connecting to your server, you have a grace period where you can enter a password. This bug exploits that and does a couple of fancy things in order to get around and somehow get access to your system, or at least possibly elevate itself to a root shell, authenticate, etc. If you want to see a detailed breakdown of how this vulnerability works, you'll find a great video linked down below from Mental Outlaw that explains pretty much what goes wrong with this, how it's exploited, etc. What you could do is get around the major issue, which is gaining root access. And you can do that simply by changing the grace period setting over here, the login grace time to zero. You can open up your Etsy SSH SSHD config and change the login grace time to zero, then restart the service. And you should hopefully be safe from this, or at least somewhat. Again, updating is always the best. This, for example, was from the Rocky Linux blog, which you'll find down below. And should you be running Rocky Linux, you can update OpenSSH by using these three commands over here. You'll find this down below. 
Obviously, if you're running some kind of less common distribution, that's not Arch, where this should have been patched in a recent update, or Rocky Linux, or Ubuntu, then you're going to need to look around to see what you can do in order to get around this issue, update, etc. But anyways, that's really it for now. Hopefully, you should be safe, and there's a small amount of time before this thing may actually be used in the wild, as I don't think it's been used just yet. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.